Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'll be looking at 4.1 cubic graphs. 4.1 represents chapter 4, section 1 of the Pearson A level Maths, Pure Maths Year 1 textbook. I'm going to start this teaching video by explaining what a cubic function is. A function of the form f of x equal ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d is a cubic function. a, b, c and d are constants. a is not equal to 0. The shape of the cubic function depends on the coefficient of x cubed. The coefficient of x cubed over here is a. If a is greater than 0, this is the shape, we call it a positive cubic. If a is less than 0, this is the shape, we call it a negative cubic. Now, f of x equals ax cubed, where a is a constant, is a special type of cubic function. Again, the shape of the cubic function depends on the coefficient of x cubed, which is a. If a is greater than 0, this is the shape, we call it a positive cubic. If a is less than 0, this is the shape, we call it a negative cubic. Example number 1. Different factors. Sketch the following curves. Part A, y equal x minus 1 in bracket, x plus 2 in bracket, 3x minus 1 in bracket. Part B, y equal 2 minus x in bracket, x plus 3 in bracket, x minus 1 in bracket. In both of these parts, we notice that we have three different factors. Let's have a look at part A. I'm going to start by finding the x-intercepts. We set y equal 0. This implies that x minus 1 in bracket, x plus 2 in bracket, 3x minus 1 in bracket is equal to 0. We can set each of these brackets equal to 0. And then we can solve for x. This gives us x equal 1, x equal negative 2, x equal a third. These are my x-intercepts. I can label it on the coordinate grid. So I've got negative 2 over here. I've got positive a third over here, and I've got positive 1 over here. Right, now I'm going to go ahead and find the y-intercept. To find the y-intercept, I need to set x equals 0. This implies that y is equal 0 minus 1 in bracket multiplied by 0 plus 2 in bracket, multiplied by 3 times 0 minus 1 in bracket. If I multiply out this bracket, I get y equal 2. So y equal 2, ladies and gents, is the y-intercept. I can label it on my coordinate grid. So 2 will be roughly over here. Now, we need to determine the shape of the curve. The shape of the curve depends on the coefficient of x cubed. If the coefficient of x cubed is positive, this is the shape, positive cubic. If the coefficient of x cubed is negative, this is the shape, negative cubic. So let's go ahead and find the coefficient of x cubed. So we've got x multiplied by x multiplied by 3x. This gives us 3x cubed. So the coefficient of x cubed is 3, which is positive. So the shape of the curve will be the shape over here, which is a positive cubic. Right, so now I can sketch my curve. I have something like this. Okay, That there represents y equal x minus 1 in bracket, x plus 2 in bracket, 3x minus 1 in bracket. Let's move on to part b. Okay, so I'm going to start by finding the x-intercepts. Set y equal to 0. This implies that 2 minus x in bracket, x plus 3 in bracket, and x minus 1 in bracket is equal to 0. We can set each of these brackets equal to 0. And then solve for x, giving us x equal 2, x equal negative 3, and x equal 1. These are my x-intercepts. I can label them on the coordinate grid. So I've got negative 3 over here. I've got positive 1 over here and positive 2 over here. Right, now I'm going to find the y-intercept. To find the y-intercept, I need to set x equal 0. This implies that y is equal to 2 minus 0 in bracket multiplied by 0 plus 3 in bracket multiplied by 0 minus 1 in bracket. So if I multiply out the bracket, I get y equal negative 6. 
which will be over here. Okay, y equal negative 6 is the y-intercept. Now we need to determine the shape of our curve. Will it be a positive cubic or will it be a negative cubic? This depends on the coefficient of x cubed. So let's go ahead and find the coefficient of x cubed. So we've got minus x multiplied by x multiplied by x. This gives us minus x cubed. So the coefficient of x cubed is negative 1. And so the curve will take on the shape over here, which represents a negative cubic. So I'm going to go ahead and sketch the cubic. Here's my negative cubic. y equal 2 minus x in bracket, x plus 3 in bracket, x minus 1 in bracket. So that there completes example 1 on sketching cubic curves with different factors. Let's have a look at example 2. Now example 2 is about repeated factors. Sketch the following curves. Part A, y equal x squared, x minus 2 in bracket. Part B, y equal x minus 1 in bracket squared, x plus 2 in brackets. Part C, y equal 1 minus 2x in bracket, x plus 1 in bracket squared. Now, let's have a look at part A. Ladies and gents, we know how to find the x and y intercept. To find the x intercepts, you need to set y equals 0, and to find the y intercept, you need to set x equals 0. So using that particular method, we can straight away identify the x intercepts and the y intercept. So the x intercepts will be x equals 0 and x equal 2. Now, because x is a repeated factor, we have x squared, the curve will bounce at x equals 0. To find the y-intercept, we need to set x equal 0. So if we put x equal 0 into here, we just get y equal 0. So now I'm going to label my x-intercept. It is over here, which is 0. And we've got 2 over here. The y-intercept is also 0. Right. The shape of the curve depends on the coefficient of x cubed. So coefficient of x cubed. We've got x squared multiplied by x. This gives us x cubed. So the coefficient of x cubed is 1. That there is positive. So the shape of the curve will be the shape over here, which represents a positive cubic. Right, now I need to be careful. When I sketch the curve in, I need to make sure that the curve bounces at x equals 0. So the curve will go up like this. Bounce at x equals 0, like that. So bounce and then go back up to x equal 2 and continue going to positive infinity. So that there represents the curve y equal x squared, x minus 2 in bracket. Let's move on to part b. Again, to find the x-intercepts, you need to set y equal 0. So if I set y equal 0, I can see that the x-intercepts will be x equal 1 and x equal negative 2. Now over here, the repeated factor is x minus 1 because we have x minus 1 squared. So it is important that you notice that the curve will bounce at x equal 1 because x minus 1 is a repeated factor. So bounce at x equal 1. To find the y-intercept, I need to substitute x equal 0 into here. So if I do that, I get y equal 2. Right, so I can label my x-intercepts. I've got 1 and I've got negative 2. And my y-intercept is 2 over here right it is important that you notice that the curve will bounce at x equal 1 let's determine the coefficient of x cubed in order to find out what shape the curve will take on so coefficient of x cubed so we have x squared multiplied by x. This gives us x cubed. So the coefficient of x cubed is 1, which is positive, so the curve will take on this shape over here, which is a positive cubic. Right, now I'm going to sketch in the curve, making sure that my curve bounces at x equal 1. So we have a positive cubic, it will look something like this, 
there's a bounce at x equal 1, then it goes back up like that. Okay, so that there's my curve. But y equal x minus 1 in bracket squared, x plus 2. Let's move on to part c. Right, so over here again, to find the x-intercepts, you need to set y equals 0. So if you set y equals 0, you get the following x-intercepts. x equal a half and x equal negative 1. These are my x-intercepts. Notice that x plus 1 is a repeated factor because we have x plus 1 squared. So the curve will bounce at x equal negative 1. Right, let's find the y-intercept. To find the y-intercept, we need to substitute x equals 0 into here. So if I do this, I get y equal 1. Right, so now I'm going to label my x-intercepts and my y-intercept on my coordinate grid. So I've got negative 1 over here and I've got a half over here. The y-intercept is 1, so that will be there. We need to determine the shape of the curve. Will it be a positive cubic or a negative cubic? This depends on the coefficient of x cubed. So let's find the coefficient of x cubed. Right, so we have negative 2x multiplied by x squared. So this gives us negative 2x cubed. So the coefficient of x cubed is negative 2, which is negative. So the curve will take on the following shape, which is a negative cubic. Right, so now I'm going to sketch in the curve, making sure that my curve bounces at x equal negative 1. So the curve will look something like this. Bounce there at x equal negative 1, goes back up like that passes through the y-intercept 1, passes through the x-intercept a half, and then comes down like that. So that there represents the curve y equal 1 minus 2x in bracket, x plus 1 in bracket, squared. And this completes my example number 2 on repeated factor. Please make sure when you have a repeated factor, your curve, when you sketch it, it bounces at the repeated factor. Let's have a look at example 3. Example 3 involves factorization. Sketch the following curves. Part A, y equal x cubed minus x squared minus 2x. Part B, y equal 9x minus x cubed. Let's have a look at part A. The very first step is to factorise the cubic. So I've got y equal. We can take out a common factor of x. So inside the bracket, I've got x squared minus x minus 2. This is a quadratic which can be factorised into double brackets. So we have x in double brackets, x minus 2, x plus 1. Minus 2 times 1 is minus 2, and minus 2 plus 1 is negative 1, which is the coefficient of x. Okay, to find the x-intercepts, I set y equals 0. So if I set y equals 0, I get the following x-intercepts. x equals 0, x equals 2, and x equals negative 1. I can label this on my coordinate grid. So I've got 0 here. I've got negative 1 over here, and I've got positive 2 over here. Now, to find the y-intercept, we need to set x equals 0. So if we set x equals 0, putting x equals 0 into here, we just get y equals 0. I can label the y-intercept, which is 0, it's just there. Now we need to determine the shape of the curve. Will it be a positive cubic or a negative cubic? Right, so we need to look at the coefficient of x cubed. The coefficient of x cubed is positive 1. And since it's positive 1, we have the following shape, positive cubic. There are no repeated factors, so the curve will not bounce at any of these x values. It will cut the x values. So this is what my graph looks like. There you go. Okay, so that there is the curve y equal x cubed minus x squared minus 2x. Let's move on to part b. Right, so... The very first step is to factorise this cubic. I can take out a common factor of x. So inside the bracket, I'll have 9 minus x squared. Right. The 9, I can write it as 3 squared minus, and we've got x squared. Notice that over here, we have a difference of 2 squares. Hence, we can use 
the factorization a squared minus b squared is equal a minus b, a plus b. Difference of two squares. So my complete factorization will be x, double brackets, 3 minus x, 3 plus x. Okay, to find the x-intercepts, we set y equals 0. So if I set y equals 0, I get x equal 0, x equal 3, and x equal negative 3. To find the y-intercept, I need to set x equals 0. So I substitute x equals 0 into here. This gives me y equals 0. Now I'm going to label my x-intercepts and my y-intercept. So the x-intercepts are x equals 0, x equals 3, and x equals negative 3. The y-intercept is y equals 0. Right, so let's determine the shape of the curve. Will it be a positive cubic or a negative cubic? This depends on the coefficient of x cubed. Okay, so the coefficient of x cubed over here, ladies and gents, is negative 1. So my curve will take on this shape over here, negative cubic. So I've got something like this. Notice that there is no bounce at any of the x-intercepts because there are no repeated factor. So that there represents the curve y equal 9x minus x cubed. And this completes example 3 on factorization. You've got a cubic, you need to first factorize, and then you find x-intercepts, y-intercept, and you sketch the curve. Let's have a look at example 4, which is on special cubics. Sketch the following curves. Part A, y equal x minus 1 in bracket cubed. Part B, y equal 2 minus x in bracket cubed. Let's start off with part A. Now, to find the x-intercepts, we need to set y equal 0. So if I set y equal 0 and then solve for x, I get x equal 1. To find the y-intercept, I need to set x equal 0. So I will have minus 1 cubed, which is negative 1. So y is equal negative 1. I can label my x and y-intercept on the coordinate grid. So I've got x equal 1 and y equal negative 1. Right, now the shape of the cubic curve depends on the coefficient of x cubed. So coefficient of x cubed. Right, so the coefficient of x cubed will just be x cubed, okay, x times x times x. It is 1, so the shape of the curve will be this shape over here. Positive cubic. Right, so let's sketch this in. At the x-intercept, the curve has to go flat like this. Okay, and then it goes down like that. Okay, that there represents y equal x minus 1 in bracket cubed. Special cubics of this form over here. Okay, f of x equal ax cubed. Right, let's move on to part b. Um, to find the x-intercept, I need to set y equal 0. So if I set y equal 0 and solve for x, I get x equal 2. To find the y-intercept, I set x equals 0, so I get 2 cubed, which is 8. So y is equal to 8. To determine the shape of the curve, is it positive cubic or negative cubic, I need to look at the coefficient of x cubed. So I will have minus x cubed, which is minus x times minus x times minus x. This gives me minus x cubed. So the coefficient of x cubed is negative 1. Hence, over here, the shape of the curve will follow this shape. Negative cubic. Right. So I'm going to label my x and y intercept. My x intercept is 2. And my y intercept is 8. Okay. And we're going to sketch in this curve. So the curve comes down like that and it gets flat at x equal 2. Important, always flat at the x value. Flat at x equal 2 like that and then go down like this. Okay, so that there represents the curve y equal 2 minus x in bracket q. This completes my example number 4 on special cubics, cubics of 
this form here. Let's have a look at an exam style question. The graph y equal x cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d is shown opposite, so it's over here, where b, c and d are constants. Part A, find the values of b, c and d. Part B, find the y-intercept. Okay, so let's have a look at part A. Right, so in part A, what we want to do is find b, c and d. Firstly, let's have a look at the graph. What are the x-intercepts? We have x equal minus 3, x equal minus 2, and x equal 1. Now, minus 3, if I take to the left-hand side, I get x plus 3 equal 0. Minus 2, if I take to the left-hand side, I get x plus 2 equal 0. And finally, 1, if I take to the left-hand side, I get x minus 1 equal 0. So the factors of this particular cubic will be x plus 3, x plus 2, and x minus 1. So I can write y equal x plus 3 in bracket, x plus 2 in bracket, x minus 1 in bracket. Now what I need to do is expand this triple bracket, simplify and write it in this form in order to work out b, c and d. Okay, so I'm going to expand the triple brackets. Firstly, I can expand these double brackets, so I get x squared minus x plus 2x, which is plus x minus 2. Okay, so now I can expand this bracket with this quadratic. This gives me x cubed plus x squared minus 2x plus 3x squared plus 3x minus 6. We can collect the like terms, simplify, we get y equal x cubed plus 4x squared plus x minus 6. Okay, so now I can read off what b, c and d is. b is the coefficient of x squared, which is 4. c is the coefficient of x, which is positive 1. And d is the constant term, which is negative 6. And that there completes part A of the question. Moving on to part B. So in part B, we want to find the y-intercept of the curve. As you can see, the y-intercept is negative 6. So y is equal to negative 6. That there is the y-intercept. We can write this in coordinate. It will be 0 minus 6. That there, ladies and gents, completes this exam style question and this teaching video on 4.1 cubic graphs. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe.